Hello, thank you for calling Reasonable Faith. Please leave your name, number, and a detailed message. Thank you, and goodbye. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Dear Dr. Craig, I call you concerning the man running the Dr. Craig Videos channel on YouTube and the five emails, one now, two voicemails, and uh, numerous other communications I've had through the forum, none of which have received a reply. I had rather hoped I wouldn't have to wave academic credentials at you just to be merely deemed worthy of a reply. After all, uh, argument stands on its merits, not on my credentials. I write to you as a fellow academic, one who got his PhD from a university no more than 60 miles from where you got yours, and a citation record which, at least according to the web of knowledge, eclipses yours by a factor of five. I had hoped that academic integrity alone would be sufficient to bring on swift and decisive action on your part, and that you would immediately distance yourself from those using your name and claiming to act on your behalf by using a legal copyright instrument to censor critics of yours. It was a golden opportunity for you to display your true colours, to put disapproving voice to such actions. Regrettably, the display of your true academic colours was far less flattering. Turns out that Dr. Craig's videos claims to be acting on William Lane Craig's behalf are given stock by the Reasonable Faith Thought Org website. That's the website of William and Craig, which reads Audio and video recordings of Dr. Craig's exciting debates, talks and interviews. YouTube videos of Dr. Craig may be viewed at youtube.com forward slash Dr. Craig's videos. Further, again and again, reasonablefaith.org links to videos posted by Dr. Craig's videos and he posts all over your forums. Now, there had been discussion the forum about Dr. Craig Video's abuse of the DMCA at reasonablefaith.org until it was killed by one of your moderators, himself claiming to be in academia. Now, I wrote him a personal message explaining that if Dr. Craig Video's claims to be legally acting on William Lane Craig's behalf, as was stated on Reasonable Faith's forums, then he was committing the criminal act of perjury in William Lane Craig's name. And Within about an hour or so, with no explanation, I was blocked from the forum and the entire discussion on Thunderfoot DMCA'd by William Lane Craig was expunged from history. All four pages of it. Well, at least that's what the In Academia moderator of Reasonable Faith forums thought anyway. True colours indeed, but maybe something about not bearing false witness or maybe something with those with the hot for the New Testament like... Uh, Every good fruit, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. That's uh, Matthew 7:17. 7, and what fruit your tree of reasonable faith is born? Not only do you have this evidently close relationship with Dr. Craig's videos, who has a long history of not only being a draconian censor, but also of illegally using this copyright instrument to censor critics of yours. And yeah, your tree is rotten to its very core, but this Dr. Craig videos chap is happily allowed to go on posting on your forum in the full knowledge of your in-academia moderators, while those who bring Dr. Craig videos reprehensible behaviour to your attention are immediately banned without thought or explanation, and all evidence of the videos, all evidence of the discussion removed. But deleting the evidence and banning people will not avail you in the least. But there's a reason why the internet is merely where religions come to die. For I've had you have reached the maximum time permitted for recording your message. If you are satisfied with your message... Okay, so that kind of uh, ran out of tape. But this is the rest of the message. For I have dealt with Christians who wanted to use the DMCA for censorship before. And the one thing I learned was document everything. Oh yeah, Craig, by a tree's fruit shall you know it. Let me just be clear, you bought this upon yourself, for by your actions do we know you. Never, Dr. Craig, use the words academic integrity again. Now that two citations Craig has shown his true colours and has turned his nose up at sorting this out in a civilised fashion, it now falls to me to 
collate the instance of DMCA abuse by Dr. Craig's videos and pass them on to YouTube. Now you've got to bear in mind that YouTube states that uh, three abuses of copyright will result in the permanent deletion of your account and preclude you from opening further ones. And you'll get a strike. If YouTube finds you're a repeat offender, you'll get banned for life. Thus far, I know of at least eight users who have received at least 12 such harassing DMCAs from John Leonard, that's Dr. Craig Videos, and I suspect that's just scratching the surface. Every DMCA that was counted, which is eight thus far, resulted in a legal defeat for Dr. Craig Videos, demonstrating in law that he did not own the material to which he claimed copyright ownership. That is, this constitutes a pattern that these DMCAs were filed in bad faith. If you have received a DMCA takedown notice from Dr. Craig Videos, I need to know. So please pass on to me the takedown notices and I will collate them and pass them on to YouTube. And we will see how YouTube deals with this systematic abuse of the DMCA.